Welcome Black. Just trying to strap my axe. Oh, my. Welcome back to the genius straps, the, the side of the... Uh, you don't even have a trim strap anymore. No, not now. I only have it in the winter months. I'm sporting it all the time, mainly because I'm too lazy to shave. Really? We should we should make a new intro for it called non strap flaps or something. <laughs> Flappy straps. Yeah. <laughs> wow. I'm gonna go kill these motherfucking birds. Oh yeah, I went back to go get some fucking ammo, that's what I forgot to do. Shit. Fuck. Fucking shit. Damn it, fuck! Sam Fisher, you fucking idiot, just... <laughs> <laughs> oh. That, that Abito, he's a funny dude. He doesn't make a lot of videos, though. He just did... He got popular for the... Um, Hitman stuff. Mm -hmm. And then, like, that was all he ever did. <laughs> That's all he was ever known for. He kind of... He almost kind of tried to cash in on the whole, like, angry video game nerd thing. <laughs> Because it was because his thing was called the Angry Video Game, <laughs> <laughs> but mm, I don't it, know if that would be so popular nowadays. No, well, that's why he retroactively like went back and censored the name on all of those. Um, yeah, but he uh, it was almost like a it was like a parody of Angry Video Game Nerd more yeah. so than like him trying to mimic it. Hence, why he called it Angry Video Game. <laughs> But, uh, it was, I mean, he, he had a couple of good videos. He, he doesn't do a whole lot now. But I just remember that in the one, like I said, like, he was making a Hitman video and, like, everybody was like, Where, where's the next one at? So then when he finally released the next one, he's like, let me address the question of what the fuck has Abito been doing instead of making the Hitman video? And then he's like, well, I've been busy. I've been playing some shitty cell phone games. And then he's like, same person, you fucking idiot, just... And he gets all angry. He says, "Fuck! God damn it! Fuck!" And he just th throws the the phone down. He's a funny man. Oh, you bitch! Uh, all right, let me do this fucking proton torpedo. Whatever the fuck it is. Oh. So, Billy, what have you been playing lately? Ah, oh, shit. I told you earlier. Tell, tell me again. I wasn't pay, paying attention. I was playing... I, 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 <laughs> I've been playing a game called Moonlighter. Right, yeah. It's uh, from the people who made... Uh, Frostpunk. I don't know what that is. Okay, well... It's basically is it a, a... Is it a PC game? Yes. And that's why I don't know what it is. They also made Vampire. The one with a Y in it? Yes. Oh, that's uh, Don't Nod. Yeah. That's the same people who made uh, Life is Strange. Yeah, there you go. Speaking of Life is Strange, you see the... Wait, no, that's wrong. I was going to say that. I don't think they made that. But, whatever. Um, who made it? But, uh... The... Uh, 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 the uh, Adventures of Captain Spirit. Do you see that? So The, uh... Basically, that's the demo for Life is Strange Season 2. Oh, yeah, that's right. Did you ever play that? Yeah, I did. I was... It was not bad. <laughs> I was waiting for you. It was not good. <laughs> no, it was. It was all right. I mean, it's. It's. I. I actually kind of like that they're not. Um, just digital sun. That's what it was. Yeah. Well, I'm kind of glad that they're not just re. I, I'm glad that they're not following it with the same characters that they did in season one. I think that's a good move on their part. Yeah. Um. So yeah, it's about this. Uh, I could download. Kid. I can download it again so you can play it if you want. Okay. Um, About this kid that does like hardcore drugs or something. No, he's he's into like you know. You play as this young boy, this young boy, and his name is Chris, I think, ironically enough. So you basically play as Oni Ng. Oh, okay. And um, you're uh, he's he loves like superheroes and like you know cosmic battles. Does he have and, autism? No. Does he have cancer? 
No. Does he have autism cancer? No. Does he have AIDS? No. He has to have a disease. He's got he's got personal problems. He's got a, an alcoholic father and a dead mom. Yeah, so, yeah, he's got a disease. He doesn't have... I mean, but he, that's not autism or cancer, though. Well, I mean, it pretty much is. So have that's you ever, kind of... Have you ever had a drunk... Uh, no. Well, then you would I had a, I had the last time I had a drunk father was at my Ooh. graduation party when he was going. Woo. <laughs> Woo. He sounded like when that in that one episode of Futurama where they rolled Bender up because yeah. he was too fat. Yeah. And he died in the yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's what that's the last time that my dad was drunk that I could remember. Yeah, well, then you don't know. He might have been drunk one other time like that, but I don't remember it happening around here. Um, <laughs> um, but other than that, yeah, that's what what's what Chris is up to. So you play as Captain Spirit, and you fuck <laughs> around, and then uh, <clears throat> I don't want to say what happens at the end, but I'm like you know, because he dies. No, <laughs> no, but it's kind of like you know, it's the, it's like a different. Um, it's kind of in the same vein as the first Life is Strange in the sense that like you know. These people have their issues that they're dealing with, and it's kind of like, you know, I'm assuming at some point something larger than them is going to occur, like, you know, in the first uh, Life of Stranger was obviously, like, this incoming storm yeah. uh, was about to destroy the town, but then also the disappearance of Rachel Amber and all that shit. And Max Clawfield so I'm was s- able to save the day yeah. with a metal claw. Not really, because Rachel's dead. But whatever. yeah, well, you <laughs> fucking who cares about it? one one girl versus a whole town? I don't know. She was a Mary Sue, man. That's what I'm saying, Rachel Amber is the Mary Sue of of Life is Strange. Because the and then they had that that was the thing they had that prequel one. You never played that though, did you? Nope. It's it's not really worth playing. I Before would say, the storm. yeah, it's not that great. It's a she's a Mary Sue because everybody loves her and she's everything to everyone. And it's like it's kind of hard to really care about Rachel Amber because she's a bitch. Hey guys, she's just, I know you all love me, but fuck you. Well, that's it. Like she's just an uninteresting character because of that fact. Like she doesn't have any flaws or anything. Oh, like, it's you one know, of those. Yeah, like she's. Like I said, she's everything to everyone. Like, everybody loves her for everything that she does, and it's like... Wow, Rachel, you're perfect. Uh-huh. That's it. That's seriously it. And there's really not, like, a huge sense... There's not, like, a conflict in Before the Storm until, like, the last episode of it. Which is, like, you know, it kind of defeats the whole point of playing the game. Really. It's the conflict that somebody doesn't like Rachel? Um, uh, no should be that would make it funny no it's like family issue crap my mom never loved me of all the people that didn't love me so so I was right then no it's not not quite that but it's her mom never loved the dad never loved her mom oh they just he just wanted a wet hot hole to put it in. I think, kind yeah, kind of, sort and, of. And then he put it in sweet. one too many times. <laughs> yeah, and he, that's how Rachel he couldn't he couldn't get the tip out in time. Yeah, <laughs> his pull game was uh pretty pretty bad. His pull game. <laughs> Is that what they call it in the in the professional business? The pull game. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh man! There's two things you you learn when having hot sex all the time. One about the pool game. Two about the temperature of your <laughs> temperature of your temperature room. of your room yeah. during hot sex. Yeah, five degrees is my record. Do you ever see you ever see a, a porno where the 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 dude finishes inside the girl and then she gets all angry? Yeah, yeah. Accidental cum. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but I don't think some pe- some of them don't accidentally. Do it. They do it on purpose. Yeah, I, 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 I'm not on the pill. And then she, yeah, yeah, and then they say that, and it's like, well, you're in, you know you're in a porno. Why wouldn't you be? Yeah, <laughs> like just in case, huh? Unless you're not above it, like you know go going and getting an abortion. Like maybe she likes that. Yeah, maybe people are freaks. Yeah, 
People who are starring pornos are fucking freaks, dude. Dude, don't judge them. Hey, man, I'm, I'm, I'm just I'm gonna put you in a porno now. And I'm gonna make them come in your penis. That's rape. And then you... <laughs> <laughs> That's and <then> penis rape. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna get pregnant. <laughs> I don't think Melissa would like that. She doesn't want any kids. No, me neither. <laughs> so she'd kids be, are for squares. She'd be very upset if I got pregnant. Because <laughs> the not, worst thing Billy, is the baby's gonna come out of the penis. Because Billy, I'm not on the pill. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I knew that, and that's why, that's why I came anyway. Cause I'm an asshole. Ow! Ow! Get the fuck out of here! <laughs> Cause it gets a great reaction. People like that. What if, like, what if, like, you're banging a girl, and then like you're gonna come in her, but then like she queefs really hard, and then the cum goes back into you, and then you impregnate yourself. That could happen. That's one of the, the many dangers of sex. And that's why you don't do it before marriage. Oh. So they're more likely to queef. Yeah. Yeah, break off that circulation with a ring on their finger. Yeah. Young young women without a ring on their finger have like a 99% chance of queefing when you're about to come. <laughs> they just know. It's the pussy troll, dude. Yeah. So, control knows what's up. So yeah, just be safe. Wear get a condom. Get married. <laughs> yeah, get get married. Wear a condom. But Billy, neither you or nor I are married, so I don't. That's what you think. I just didn't invite you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you know what? I have. I ha I was invited to a couple of weddings for friends of ours, but I, I never went because it was. Wait, always wait. We have friends. Very short notice. Yeah, old well, Tobin. Tobin and uh, Jimmy's first marriage. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Jimmy. He's still married, so. Oh, yeah, that's true. That is true. Sorry, Jimmy. I'm not trying to poke fun at you. I am. Oh, well, that's you. I don't want to. Yeah. I don't want to upset him. I'm allowed to, though. All right. Well, because I, I know the sitch. Right. I, I know the basic details. Things happened. People don't love each other anymore. Yep. That's it. Or they do, and they just don't talk. That too. But I, I don't know. For me, for me with the wedding thing, though, it was like it was always like I remember. I think for for, for Tobin and Alex's, I literally I think I was getting my oil changed one day, and then this was back when you lived on uh, Howard. Howard. Yeah. Yep. So like, I remember I was getting my oil changed. So I'm like, oh, I got an hour. I might as well walk down to Billy's place and pop in and say hi. So I go in there, and it was the, literally the day before the yeah, wedding. The wedding. They're like, hey, Tyler, the, the, you should come. It's yeah. Like, oh, yeah, one day. Yeah, they literally, like, popped in. Like, like, Alex is like, you're invited. You can come if you want. And I'm like, you should have told me this, like, a <laughs> months ago while you were I still planning the fucking wedding. <laughs> I really don't think they planned it very far in advance. Oh. So... I mean, well, that's pretty evident if they were asking me literally the day before. <laughs> there wasn't, like, any, you know, big, uh, like, guest list or anything. It was really just kind of like a media family. That's, you know, and seeing, you know what, in all honesty, even if you can say <laughs> that they didn't plan it very well, that's the way to do it. Do it with just immediate family, because that way you're not spending $30,000 on a fucking wedding. Yeah. I really need to get some more fucking ammo, dude. Like I know, Anne, if she if we get married, she's like, we should just go to the courthouse and uh, get our marriage license, and then that's what, just have our that's what my brother did. Uh, parents sign off on it, and that's about it. That's what my brother did, and, and, then my, and then my parents got all pissy. Yeah, I'm like, well, I'd like a small party. Yeah, just something. Yeah, with you know, maybe two parties. Dude, one you, for friends, one for family. Yeah, like, even if you only spent, like, you know, a couple, like, me, and that, like, you know, if you wanted to even just go all out with just, like, a, like a small party, you could spend, like, two grand. Yeah. And, like, have a big party, you know, whatever. Like Jimmy and, and Yeah, and then just, D. and then just be done with it. Like, Which I, not, I think they're still in debt from that wedding. 
Yeah. It's been like two, Dude, weddings three are, years. Weddings yeah. are fucking stupid expensive. But that's why it's like, that's why, you know, you just do like a small thing. Because it's like, that way you're not in debt for that. That's, that's what I think anyway. Because it's like, a wedding is really not... I understand it's a big moment of your life, but at the same time, it's like, does is it... Is it? It has to go, like, so far beyond that because it's like people feel like it's, you know, mm-hmm. worth spending that money on. And it's like, if they want to, fucking go for it. If you want to have your stupid-ass Harry Potter-themed wedding, fucking go for it. But yeah. <laughs> I think it's I think it's a gigantic waste of money when you could have just a nice of a ceremony with less people that are more, like, you know, intimate, maybe. I don't know. Like, better friends instead of having, like... Oh, here's my cousin's second fiance. Twice uh, removed. Twice removed. His name is Frank, and he actually isn't related He's to us gay. at all. He's <laughs> gay. Yeah, whatever you know. And it's like, who, who's that? You know, I don't even know. I don't even know. I know. was given a list of names to just point at people and say. <laughs> One of them was fucking uh, John McClane and fucking <laughs> Die Hard. Hard. I don't know why that's there. <laughs> Not related to the other McLeans. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what the hell that's all about, but all right. And then Bruce Willis shows up, and he's like, what's up? <laughs> oh, hey, Bruce. <laughs> we call him Bruce, because we're, we're on good terms. Yeah. That's John McLean to you. <laughs> well, You're so like, funny, Bruce. Why am I talking like Batman? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't think that's how John McLean talked. <laughs> Next time I'm on Chin Staff Chaps. We'll kill more brains. We're going to have... We're going to have... John We're going to have a wedding. <laughs> yeah.